So this is 40 year old women hitting the wall. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, all of my fellow 40 something year olds okay. <laughs> who, are, who hate dating as much as I do, I have not been on a dating app in several months. And so I decided Friday night that I would get on one. And I match with this guy and we start chatting away. Continue. Okay, so I have to first start off by saying she's very attractive. You can see with the tattoos. So she's kind of a, like a wild girl. She's not afraid of pain. So, you know, you got to read between the lines when it comes to that. And we'd made plans for Wednesday night. And then the more we talked, we were kind of like, ah, we were kind of hitting it off. We're like, let's do Tuesday night too. Um, then comes Monday. And he's like, hey, do you think you can slip away and meet me for coffee? In order to in order to pass the gate, you must first be attractive. You must have some form of status and probably look a certain way. So I think he has checked all those boxes and he's good probably at texting. I'm not so much of a texture. I never text girls. Usually it's just to meet up, but I won't be like sitting and chatting because the more and more you text, the more opportunity you have to f it up. So I'll just say like, don't text too much. If you're planning a date, plan the date. If she's not interested in the date, bro, she's not, she's not gonna be interested in texting you. So it's just like a little bit of a tip over there. I do. The date was about five hours long hmm. and it was great, went well. Um, very attractive man, great job, hmm. just all around. Seems like a great catch, right? So that night, it was great. Sent me a text afterwards, you know, had a good time, all the things. Then Wednesday night, we go to dinner and he picks out the place. I meet him at his house. We ride together to the restaurant. And as we're sitting there kind of, you know, halfway through dinner, he decides to tell me, um, you know, he's like, you check a lot of my boxes. I'm really into you. I've told all my sister, my sisters about you. Ah, that's a little, that's a mistake over there because what you were on the second date and like already, already presenting the girl after the second date is not a good move. So that's a turn off and probably she's not gonna like that. I say all mine, his mm. two sisters. Um, you know, they've seen pictures of you and this and that. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll, bro. Yeah. And so dinner still is too much interest, never good. Fine, great, we move on. Um, I go back home, he sends me a bunch more text, kind of just, again, you know, I'm really into you, mm. I really go after what I want, but it's at this point, it's just becoming too much, mm. and I tend to like pump the brakes. Yeah. And actually, back up on the first night of our date, um, I just said, you know, I really just don't get excited. I've been in this dating game longer than you. He's been divorced two years. I've been divorced for 14. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've been- Wait, she's, on, she's been on the market for 14 years. It's not a good sign. In this fucking single mm. dating game for a hell of a lot longer. And he proceeded to also tell me he's gone on like 40 dates in two years. And I'm like, holy fuck, that is more dates than I've gone on in my life. Um, like what you've been 12 years on the market you can tell me you have you don't do one day per month of course you do let alone in two years mm. jesus so anyway you know i tell him I, i'm not excited i don't get excited just because i've had so many letdowns so i contain any and all excitement and he was kind of irritated by that um so after the second date then he sends me a message the day after and he's like, hey, I was reflecting on last night. I think I probably said. Yeah, that's good. Reflecting on last night. I like that. Probably said too much thinking, draw back the interest. That's good. Good move. Too much, kind of open mm. up too much. I'm like, yeah, yeah, think. Um, and I just messaged him back like, hey, I get you being vulnerable, telling mm. me how you feel. I'm just not in that place right now. Exactly. And you should never, ever listen to what I'm saying right now. Never be vulnerable. It doesn't work out. It doesn't work out for anybody. You're the rock, which is going to lean on. So the rock never, never is vulnerable. You should never show emotion when it comes to women. That's, that's a big mistake. 
it just seemed like an emotional dump mm. and I'm still digesting it Look and I just handle things differently. Mm. Um, and it kind of rubbed him the wrong way and we were supposed to go out tomorrow night. He texted me today, canceled plans and I just said, oh, are you going to LA? Because he was going to LA to meet some chick and he's like, you know. That's a good move right there. Applaud. That's a good move. Show that you have options. Don't just be sitting and waiting for her and this is gonna rub her the wrong way. It, it is definitely. She's sitting at home now, she's thinking, are you gonna to go to LA? He's like, you know, just leave it, leave it there, leave it alone. That's a good move. That's a good move. Irritated that I thought he was going on that trip. Mm. And I just was like, I'm just asking, I don't fucking care. Yes, you do care because otherwise you wouldn't be asking. And second of all, he's showing that he has options. That's very good. Third of all, it's a push and pull. And so he canceled all plans for the weekend mm -hmm. and he's just like, I'll contact you next week. I'm just gonna kind of let this simmer. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I don't think so. I think we're good. I okay. don't think there's a match anymore. Um, I don't know, what would you guys do? I'm like... There, there she told on herself, what would you guys do? To sum this video up, I would say, she met a guy, she kind of liked the guy, the guy checked all the boxes, and then he showed a little bit of interest which is good, not too much, but he showed a little bit too much interest. After he showed the interest there, come to the final part where he draws back the attention. Perfect that he did that. And he showed that he has options. Now she's interested. She doesn't really know where she has him. So this guy did, did it right. Uh, and that's where I want to end this video. By the way, guys, like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.